And what we're looking at right now is the output tray, but with the input trays, you're actually able to fit and you have a capacity of 550 sheets of plain paper. If you were looking for an unboxing video on the Epson EcoTank 5800 model, then stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this video. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer review video. And today we've got the Epson EcoTank 5800 model. Basically what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm going to be unboxing this printer, I'm going to be setting it up to the point where we can print, and then I'm going to be reviewing this printer, just talking about the different specifications, the pros and cons of owning a printer like this, a little bit about the price, and a link to this printer will always be down in the description box. So you can check additional specifications or you can look at the purchase options. Now if you're new to the channel, welcome. Everything printer related is where you're gonna find on this channel. All the way from printer unboxing such as this one to ink installation, all the way to printer repairs is what you're gonna find on this channel. So if this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe to Best Printers. Now the sponsor of today's video is my very own product, the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. Basically, if you're printing blank pages, you're not able to print a certain color or you have an overall and general print quality issue. I have videos on my channel showing you how to use the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. Essentially, it will uh, break up the blockage and it'll get you printing normally again. So there's gonna be a link for that in the description below. Like I said, in this video, I'm gonna be doing the unboxing, but there's gonna be three other videos minimum that I make on this printer that are gonna be separate from this video. They're gonna be linked down in the description below. One of them is going to be the ink installation video. I'm gonna be showing you how to install these bottled inks into the ink tank system on this printer. It's gonna be separate. It's gonna be touched on briefly in this video, but it's gonna be really explained in another video. So that's gonna be the ink install video. Then I'm gonna be taking this printer and I'm going to be printing off photos and documents and I'm gonna be testing the print quality. That's gonna be in the print quality test video, which is also gonna be separate. And I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Best Printers cleaning kit on this printer just in case you end up in a situation where this printer is not printing a certain color and you can't figure out any solution. You've already tried all the options in the maintenance section of the printer. I'm gonna show you how to use the Best Printers cleaning kit so that you know what to do in the event that the printer is not printing correctly. So check all the links down in the description below. They're there for your convenience and they really are going to be a resource for you if you wanna get all the information on this printer. Also, if you subscribe to the channel, I will be doing some comparative videos comparing this printer to a similar printer or a lower model printer. So you know the difference between a lower price point on an Epson EcoTank and a higher price point on an Epson EcoTank. Look out for that video on my channel coming soon. All right, let's get into unboxing this printer. All right, so opening the box on the Epson EcoTank 5800, what you're gonna be getting inside the box is very important. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline everything that you're gonna be receiving when you receive this printer. You're gonna be taking out the printer itself, of course, which is great. Everything should be in good condition. If not, send it back, get a new one. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you take off all of this blue tape because it could diminish the functionality, especially the blue tape that's on the print head. You really need to make sure to take this specific blue tape off. If not, you're definitely not gonna be able to print. I'm always really impressed with the way that these printers are packaged so that they don't get damaged because I've never received a damaged printer. So you're gonna get two sets of each color of bottled ink. I'm gonna say that again, two sets, two sets of black, two sets of cyan, two sets of yellow, two sets of magenta. So you may not see the magenta or the black extra bottle, but it's in there. And that is really great for you because that is a lot of ink that you're getting up front. And so the price that you're paying includes a whole lot. You're gonna get a manual, you're gonna get a power cable, and that's really where it ends. Those are the main things that you're gonna to need to get started. The rest of it, you know, maybe a A to B cable and a fax cable, those things, the ethernet cable, you're gonna to wanna to get those separately. Okay, so powering on the printer, this is where we're gonna get started. This is where the setup starts. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is select your language, you're gonna set up the date and time, and then immediately after that, you're gonna be installing the ink. As I said earlier in the video, 
I'm going to be covering the ink installation briefly in this video, but I'm not going to really go in depth. So you're going to want to really watch that ink install video if this is your first time installing bottled ink on a printer. Now along with this video, you can use the user manual and it will give you some additional information. Always use the user manual to look up instructions on how to unpack, how to install the ink and use that alongside this video. You'll get the best results doing it that way. So the first ink bottle, of course, that I always install is black. So each color has its individual ink tank. So black has one, yellow has one, magenta and cyan. There are four individual ink bottles. Now the replacement bottles, which are the bottles that I'm installing right now for black, you're going to get 7,500 pages. And for the color, you're going to get about 6,000 pages. So black alone, 7,500 pages, color alone, which includes cyan, magenta, and yellow, you'll be getting about 6,000 pages with the color ink. Now Epson strongly recommends the use of genuine ink to ensure optimal print quality and performance. I will go on record to say that you can use third party ink with this printer. There's no harm in doing so as long as it's pigmented ink you're going to be okay and it's going to be less expensive for you it's going to be a better experience for you and so i'm going to be leaving a link in the description below for some remanufactured versions of ink for this printer i highly recommend you check out that link and here we have our 4.3 inch larger lcd touch screen i really love this screen i'm a big fan of it very happy with this larger screen and here is a usb insert we're going to be using that later on in the video so you'll be seeing how i implement that the home screen itself has a lot of different options there's so many different things that you can do uh, with this model and one of those things is presets you can set the type of settings that you want for your specific printing needs the question mark button is always going to be there if you have questions if you need additional support troubleshooting that is there for you and of course you have some other options confidential job that is one that is great if you want to print a document or send a document and you want it to be private you can also turn off the beeping when you click the buttons with that sound off option I really love the paper trays on this printer. There are three of them. And what we're looking at right now is the output tray, but with the input trays, you're actually able to fit and you have a capacity of 550 sheets of plain paper. Now this output tray actually has a button that you can click to insert it and it actually comes out automatically when you're about to print. So I really love that. This is our first paper tray. The first paper tray has a lot of different size capabilities, A4 letter, B5, number 10 envelopes, and then you have A5, that's those smaller photos, 5x7, 4x6, and you go all the way up to 8.5x11. So you have a lot of different paper types that this printer is able to handle with the various different paper trays. Photo paper, ultra premium photo paper, glossy. Uh, you're able to use bright white paper. You can use thicker cardstock paper, but it has to be around 65 GM squared. And that is what sets this printer apart is you have multiple paper trays for different types of paper, different sizes. That's really gonna be one of this printer's strengths, the ability to handle all different types of paper and the paper trays that are able to handle all of those. So your first paper tray is able to handle 250 sheets. Your second paper tray, 250 sheets as well. And then your rear paper tray or rear feeder is able to handle about 50 sheets. And that's all plain paper. When you get into the thicker paper, uh, it's going to be about half and then you know a quarter the thicker you go. This printer does handle borderless printing. And there you see our output tray automatically coming out. We're printing off a nozzle report from the maintenance section. And that just shows you that everything is functioning well with the print head. And once you know that, then you're set, you can start printing. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scan with our automatic document feeder. Now the max scan size for the automatic document feeder is 8.5 by 11. And actually it can go up to 8.5 by 14. Uh, you can scan to the cloud to a USB memory device, which we will do here shortly. You can scan to an email, you can scan to an FTP, you can scan to an SMB, a standalone. 
And so you have a lot of options with this automatic document feeder. I would say you've got about capacity of 20 to 25 sheets at the same time that you can scan into one document. I have found that to be really helpful when I'm working with contracts, when I'm working with different documents. That is a great option. And you also are able to do double-sided scanning with this. You just want to make sure you select the right options with the device that you're using to initiate the scan. If you're scanning it directly from the printer, you'll need to adjust the settings on the printer. Now we will get to the glass scanner here shortly, uh, but I wanted to take a look at this rear paper tray. And of course, this is the one that's able to hold 50 sheets. You have some blue tape on here that still needs to be removed, but you can actually adjust the size that you need for the specific type of paper that you're using. So it's really great to have this option as a third paper tray and you can actually extend this all the way out. I wasn't able to do that here in the video, but just know that this has extra capabilities that we did not go into here. Now the printing technology this printer uses is a four color, all pigment, four in one and your print resolution, your max print resolution is 4800 by 2400. Your printing speed is 25 pages per minute black and 12 pages per minute color. That is very, very fast printing, especially for the black color. Now your automatic two-sided printing speed is 16 pages per minute black and nine pages per minute color. And your minimum ink droplet size is three droplet sizes as small as 3.8 picoliters. So that is a stat that you can compare to other printers, uh, but you do have a very fast printing speed, very good functionality with the scanning. Now let's take a look at the glass scanner. What we have here is a glass scanner with a uh, max resolution of 9600 DPI and you have a scan bed size. The maximum is 8.5 by 11, that is a four. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm actually gonna be pulling out a USB device and we're gonna be scanning directly to the USB device. And this is going to be something that could be really helpful if you're needing to scan something really quickly, get it to another location. You can use any USB device such as this one get it plugged in the printer will recognize it and once it's recognized then you can select that you want to copy directly to this usb device once you select that option you will click start and that will allow the scan to go directly to this memory device and you also get to see a picture there of the amount of space that that USB drive has. So that's really helpful. Now here we're gonna click last original. That means that this is the only thing we're scanning onto this device. And then we're gonna be removing it. I'm not gonna go too deep into the fax options on this printer, but you have a black and white and a color capable faxing. Uh, you have memory of up to 550 pages, speed dials of 200 numbers max. And so that's if you're still using fax. If not, then you've got all the other options. You can scan directly to email. So that'll be really helpful. So a quick note on the automatic document feeder. I said 20 to 25 sheets maximum. You can actually fit 50 sheets of paper on that automatic document feeder at once. So here we are going to be connecting to Wi-Fi. And initially we're gonna do a mobile device connection. So you can connect this to a smartphone, to a tablet. You can connect directly with an ethernet cable, uh, but really you wanna connect wirelessly. So that allows you to print from multiple devices, laptops, tablets, like we said, smartphones. And that's really going to help you connect. Now, it doesn't matter what operating system you're using with Apple or with Android, you're gonna have the capability to use Wi-Fi and to print directly from pretty much any device onto this printer. Now, there's multiple ways to connect wirelessly. What I would highly suggest is that you connect this printer directly to the router that you have in your home or office. You can do what we're doing here on screen with your mobile device, but really make sure you click on router. Once you click on router, it's going to take you to an option where I'm not able to show you on screen because it'll share my personal information, but you're going to hit Wi-Fi setup wizard and it's going to connect you to your wireless uh, router once you input the password. And once you're connected to that router, it's going to be very easy to print from any device because you just select whatever printer is an option that is wireless. And if it's not connected to the router, you're not going to be able to print wirelessly as easily.
Some other information about this printer, it does have a maintenance box that is very easy to access and replace. I am gonna be doing an additional video on that. So who is this printer for? This is gonna be for somebody that's doing a larger capacity of printing, somebody that's doing a lot of different types of paper sizes, somebody that needs a great capacity when it comes to scanning. This is gonna really take care of all of your office needs. So this is gonna be more of an office printer, or if your home office is really structured as an office that really needs a high demand of printing, then it depends on what you do for a living. Maybe it's in your home, but you're using it as an office printer and you need all that capability that an office printer would have. And that is all the scanning abilities, all the paper tray abilities, and the quality is gonna be great on this printer. So you're not gonna have to worry about that. It's gonna be a faster printing speed than most residential or smaller Epson and Canon HP printers. Is this printer worth the money? Absolutely, yes. Check current pricing, uh, but the price that I got it for was a phenomenal price for everything that you get, all the ink. So I really hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Check out all the links in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.